Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, guys. I'm excited. I love Wednesdays. <laughs> Actually, I probably could say that about just about every day of the week. The Lord has just really helped me love all the days of the week. I love Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh my goodness, we're on day three. Oh, we're on day three of this uh, new devotion book I have started, and I'm so excited. It's so good. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. I'm drinking me some coffee this morning out of one of my favorite coffee mugs. Y'all see that beautifulness? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like one of my absolute favorite pieces from the mountains. Um, cause y'all know if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know how much I love, um, pottery, love pottery. And I have a lot of pottery coffee cups. Anyways, enough about that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Day three. You are braver than you know. You are braver than you know. Yes, you are. Some of you are like, you know, I don't know about that. I don't think, I don't feel like I'm brave. I don't. I think I just back down at everything, but no, you are braver than you know, okay? All right, <laughs> so if you're watching me live, give me hashtag one. If you're watching the replay, give me hashtag two, and we are going to get going here this morning. Today's devotion, um, the scripture is Isaiah 30 and 21, Isaiah 30 and 21. It says, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. This is the way, walk in it. That's Isaiah 30, 21. Write it down. <laughs> All right, so here, here we are. This is the book, 100 Days to Brave. Okay, the writer here, she says, Annie says, In October 2007, I started to feel something unsettled in my spirit. That's the best way I can describe it. After weeks of this weird feeling, I felt like I had to really pray and ask God to direct me. I sensed I was supposed to make a change, but I just didn't know what that change was. So I asked God, and my heart kept hearing that it was time for a move to Nashville. And after a few months of wrestling, I did it. I, cr I cried the entire drive, three and a half hours, now, I know I wasn't leaving for a town halfway around the world yet, but this Georgia girl would be moving farther away from home than she ever dreamed. Friend, you need to know this. I never felt brave. Never felt brave. I never had a moment of extreme courage or belief that this was going to be the best decision I had ever made. I just did the next thing. Have you ever been there? Just just did the next thing. Quit my job, sold my house, packed my belongings, pointed north until I crossed the state line and didn't stop until I saw the trademark of the Nashville skyline, the Batman building. <laughs> I won't bore you with stories of the weeping and gnashing of teeth that occurred for the first weeks, okay, five months, after I moved, but it was terrible, painful, lonely. Can I say this again? I never felt brave. But day after day, I just did the next thing, took the next step, and, and said the next yes. And God built a life for me in Nashville that I could not have dreamed up for myself. I may not have felt brave, but I was taking brave steps in obedience to God. So important to, to listen to that and to know that, that being obedient doesn't mean you're just, yeah, I can do this and I'm not afraid. And, you know, I think we think that in our minds sometimes that that, the, that that fear or that worry or whatever sometimes will just completely go away. And sometimes it does. I'm not going to say that it won't, that God won't just remove that altogether. But a lot of times it is just like this. It's just taking the next step, scared to death, but you do it anyway. Right? Just trusting God and being obedient, even in our fear. Just doing it anyway. 
And I think sometimes we're waiting on the fear to go away for us to do it. And God is just saying, just do it anyway, right? Ooh, I felt that one. Just do it anyway, right? She says, if you and I sat down and you told me your story, I would be able to show you places where you made brave choices, even if you don't label them that way. You're probably already doing more than you realize. You are braver than you know. You are braver than you know. My goodness. Um, before I get to the be brave thing right here, I know that God is working on y'all since day one, since Monday. It's just Wednesday. It's just day three of this devotion. But already I've gotten message and messages and I've seen posts of people sharing their testimonies. And I've also received message of being afraid to share their testimony or just knowing that they're getting pushed back from the enemy, right? And I believe, and I know just down deep in my heart that there are so many of you watching this devotion that the Lord is dealing with you about sharing your story with someone and wanting you to testify, wanting you to tell of God's goodness, but you're afraid. You're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of how they might view you or what they might think about you or, or maybe that you'll say something wrong, but the enemy is whispering in your ear and he's telling you that it's not a good idea. And he's giving you all these excuses of why, but there's still this thing behind you pushing and that's the Holy Spirit. And he's nudging you and he's saying, tell it, tell your story, tell your story. Set, I'm telling you, there is power in your testimony and spreading the name of Jesus and telling people what he has done in your life. It gives people hope and it gives people courage and it strengthens people and it helps them to want to tell their story. It lets them know, hey, God did it for you. He can do it for me, right? So where one person, it gives them hope to keep on living that you're human just like they are, right? To another person, it gives them the courage to tell their story to someone. There's, there's so many ways that God uses us. We cannot even wrap our, our minds around all the ways. So let me encourage you today. Do the thing. Do it scared, but do it, right? Even if you have to mash, if you have to do the video and put it on Facebook, if that's what God's wanting you to do, and you're shaking all the way to the button like I was, <laughs> Do it anyway. Do it scared. It changes people's lives. And guess what? It changes yours. It will change your life. So maybe it's just speaking to someone. Maybe it's, maybe it's talking to that coworker that you've been working with for years. And they're your friend, but you've never shared Christ with them. You've never really told them what God has done for you. And God is saying, it's time. It's time. I've given you plenty of open doors and I'm going to give you another one. And I want you to share your story. Do it today, guys. Share your story of God's goodness. People need the Lord. We need to hear those stories. We need to hear testimonies of God's goodness. So be brave. Doesn't mean you won't be scared. Be brave and do it anyway, right? It's just doing the next step. It's taking that next step. It's stepping out and doing it anyway. The be brave um, thing here, she says, or challenge, I was calling it, but it's just this thing I want you to think about. She says, think about your life. Think back on your life. Journal about two or three moments you or someone else might label as brave. Think really, listen, it doesn't have to be something grand or big, but maybe it was, maybe it was taking on a new position in a job. Maybe it was changing careers altogether. Maybe it was becoming a parent. <laughs> maybe, um, I don't know, maybe it was taking care of someone. Maybe it was doing a new thing in church. Um, maybe your being brave was getting in your car and, and driving somewhere, um, going somewhere new. Maybe it was just making some changes in your life that you were afraid to do it, but you did it anyway. Those things are being brave, even when you're afraid, guys. I made a huge change over the summer, the spring. Um, 
man, God redirected my life. I felt like it was a huge whirlwind. I know it felt like that to a lot of people. I felt like God was just moving and 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 repositioning people and and just kind of doing this huge, huge thing. And um, at least to me and my family and. We were, we were moved from a place I've been in for over 20 years, almost 30 years. And God moved me. He moved us. And you might think, well, wow, Emily, you know, you must have been brave. You, you know, mm -mm. I was scared to death. I cried so much. <laughs> Puffy eyes cried. And, but I, tr I had to trust God. I had to take that that step I had to move and sometimes we have to do that we have to just move and take that step being absolutely scared and afraid but trusting God I think sometimes like I said before we feel like that fear has to be gone completely for us to do something that God's asked us to do and that's not true it's not true at all <laughs> we just have to do the thing whether we're afraid or not you just have to take the next step. You just have to take that step of faith, just like she took that step of moving to another state because she was being obedient to God, even though she was scared and cried and was afraid all the way, but she did it all the way. She was doing it. So your challenge for today, think about those times that you're afraid. And maybe God is really stirring your heart right now. Maybe he is really working on you right now. And... And there's been something in your life that you know you've needed to do for a long time. But you've pushed it off and pushed it off and pushed it off because you're afraid. And you've let fear take a hold of your life and stop you from things. But today is the day to look fear in the face and say, you know what? I'm doing the thing anyways. Yep, I'm afraid. Yep, I'm scared. I might cry. I might cry and, and scream and holler through this thing. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Man, guys, there's a, there is a freedom and there is a liberty in doing the things afraid. And that is being brave. That is being brave. Y'all, this is such a good devotion. You are braver than you know. If you're a mom or a dad and you're taking care of kids and, and you're having to be teacher this year and you've never had to do that before, you're being brave. I know you're scared. I know you're worried about it and you're probably crying at night and in the morning <laughs> about having to do the hard things you're being brave you're doing it anyways guys you're you're going to work you're being brave you're doing it anyways when it's when it's scary right you're stepping out my goodness god is working through you today he's been doing it he's been doing it your entire life you've been still getting up and going and doing the hard things you're braver than you know. You're braver than you know. You're not some, some weak person. You're strong. And you can do this today. Y'all have a wonderful Wednesday. It's a great Wednesday to be brave again. Right? It's a great Wednesday to, to let God work through you and show you just how brave that you actually are. Y'all have a wonderful day. Be blessed. And I will see y'all tomorrow on the ENJ Daily. Bye, guys.